Okay, my friends, on this second part, pretty much we're going to try to to get the fuselage, you know, as far along as we can. Uh, now, you know, I finished cutting my all the parts I needed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, in the last video we, we did the nose pretty much, the nose section of it, which turned out pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to glue all these pieces together, which is the rest of the fuselage. And then we're going to glue it to, to the nose section. But I'm going to, you know, glue it together by themselves first and see what it's going to look like. Uh, and this part right here, you know, I'm, I'm not going all the way to the end. This is like halfway on it. You know, I still have four pieces left, which are pretty much what it's going to make the, the thrust to, you know, going from 70 millimeters uh, down into probably 50. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, let me go ahead and glue this. And for you guys that don't know, you know, they are new on my channel. This is the glue I use. It's fabric tack. It's a fabric glue, you can find it at Walmart, you know, uh, uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's probably. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and, and glue all these pieces together. Okay, my friends, so right now I'm gluing all the pieces together. And every time I add one into the other ones, you know, I'm, you know, I'm looking in here and it's, it's pretty much perfectly smooth and everything lined up with each other. But I still, you know, just to make it a little bit more clean, I'm going in with this end paper, with the same 120, and just you know, just sanding on the inside, pretty much focusing more on the joints between the two foam, you know, that the line right there between the two, the foam line, you know, making sure everything is smooth, and you know, I'm gonna continue gluing them on place. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, after I finish, you know, with all of them, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I already, you know, glue all the pieces together. And line them up pretty nice and I went ahead and you know attach it to the front of the of the plane to the nose part so now what I gotta do is just blend everything now you know all the pieces into each other because you know we have some I mean, you can feel the joints so I need to go ahead and sand all this down and make it smooth and then we're gonna go ahead and work on the on the wings actually because at this point right here I'm actually you know uh, you know, pretty much it's gonna go right, over right here, yeah, right here. You know, here's where my EDF is gonna be. So, you know, when I put my electric duct of time here, and this point right here, now, nah, but on this part right here, I'm actually gonna make my uh, bucket out of plywood, which is pretty much gonna be very similar to this one right here. But the difference is gonna be that I'm gonna add a little ears to it. Uh, Pretty much is gonna come out about you know come out shape out about this far or so on both sides. Uh, this is gonna be to support the wing spars because I don't want the spar to go through the fuselage because I don't want to interrupt the airflow. So okay guys, like, let me go ahead and smooth this out and then we start working on the wings. Okay, so the fuselage is pretty much blend into each other now. Pretty nice. As you can see, you know, we got some spots where we cut too much foam off it, but that's an easy fix. With a little bit of light, lightweight sparkling, you know, we'll, we'll get a good fix in there. That to end them up from there. Yeah. And here is where our EDF is going to be at. But before we continue with this now, I pretty much have to build the the, the wings part. And like I said, you know, it's, gonna, it's not going to be blocking my air, my air intake, so... And the first, what I gotta do first is build my wings, uh, so you know to shape and everything. That way I can figure out exactly how thick that spar has to be. Uh, the wings I was coming, mean, as you can see, you know I just copied it from that right there. You know, I just copied it from it and on half inch foam. And you know I'm, I'm gonna cut my air foil on it right now. And the, you know the chunks of it, I just cut like we did with the fuselage cut chunks of it first after I mark it. Right now I'm gonna pretty much use 120 cent paper and I'm going to smooth all this nice and after I get there full smooth down nice and good I'm actually going to taper from this point down into the end because I don't want this part to be so thick so I'm gonna pretty much send it the, the opposite way too you know so let me go ahead and do this guys and I'll show you what it looks like I'm gonna be using pretty much a piece of wood with a 120 cent paper Okay, my friends, so I got the wing done right here. You can see it. Uh, we got balsa wood on the leading edge. 
and on the wind tips of course and on the trailing edge I got actually base wood or bass wood however you want to call it <clears throat> and it's, which is pretty much stronger than balsa and it's not definitely not as flexible as balsa wood is I was looking at this thing and I mean you know the wind is so short uh, it, I mean it's really already pretty stiff just with the balsa wood and the foam itself so instead of going with carbon fiber parts I'm actually just going to cut my pretty much the bulk of what I'm going to attach the ADF to I'm already going to go ahead and cut the spars with it you know so it's going to leave those arms out which is already almost to the wind tip pretty much to all the way out here so this is what I'm going to do guys uh, as you see this is the pretty much the same shape from the from the one I cut the fuse last week you know right here you see the exact same one okay my friends so I already cut this part right here as you can see pretty much similar to the other one is just <laughs> The outer part of it is a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm not sure what I put the other piece right now. But we can actually compare it to one of the original bulkheads. Uh, we should put it with the original. See, it's a little bit smaller because all you know all the sanding we did to it to get them smooth. And then again, you know, this is a 70 millimeters. This is where the fan is going to mount. I'm pretty much going to drop it in from the bottom of the of the jet you know I'm, I'm gonna push it in to the wood right there and I don't even think it's gonna need to I'm gonna need to make a base for the screws I mean because by the time I put it in there it's, it's really tight already and you see I left the ears and these things guys are actually pretty strong you know I mean you can push and pull on this on this joint right here it's hard to do with one hand but I mean it is barely any flex on it at all I mean you can flex it if you go out farther you know you can start flexing it but right at the joint, I mean, this is strong, so I don't think I'm going to need no carbon fiber. Uh, you know, this pretty much lines up with the push putter in here in place. Right there, so that's pretty much what it's going to be like. See um, the fan and the wing. I actually already went ahead and cut the little notches too on it, so let me go ahead and insert this one in place. Uh, I already cut the slot where it's going to be. The wings swing my friends switch in here like that and the fan you know the fan I'm gonna be dropping the fan from the bottom right here dropping it in and then pushing it in there and you know starting to look more like a plane now <laughs> we're getting there we went too far we're not too far so okay my friends uh, that's all we're gonna be showing you today so hopefully in the next you know next couple of videos we will be through with it so thank you for watching my friends subscribe see you next fly